right, so it is another day, and I am here at Lake Lanier. I'm here with a friend of mine who is practicing for a triathlon and needs to work on her open water swimming. So I came along to do that with her so she's not doing it by herself. And we are going to swim to that island. Hopefully it's not too windy. We're going to swim to that island over there done this before but today it was 47 degrees this morning and now it's warmed up a little bit to 58 so this should be interesting a little bit of a polar bear swim this morning I checked the water temperature it's 72 that's according to Lake Lanier's website just a little windy Oh, the water's not that bad. I was gonna say, after we have to strip these off and do a polar bear plunge. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> you. I know last time it was a pain to walk around the island. That doesn't sound good. Probably I could get a mile if I swam to it that way. How far did you say it was last time? A quarter mile or 0.45 mile from here to there? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that little float smiling back at us as she swims away. Hopefully the camera can see that. Oh crap, it's cold. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start a little backstroke. Woo! Ah! Holy shit! Okay, it's not that bad, is it? Whew. Okay. Oh, it's not that bad at all. Whew. There she is over there. circle. Were the waves that bad? Swing my back. Here's the way I'm going.
not that cold out here. I was expecting it to be pretty chilly, but it's not that bad. Well, there she is. back in August. I don't remember having to work this hard, but there was many waves that day either. I don't know how much extra it adds with all these waves. Drop the camera, never see it again. I'm camping over there. Get camping with it. Not too hot. Uh, we curved again. All right. We're here. Under the island. the triathlon racer. That pink spot over there. A little campfire over here. If you have a boat you can come over to these little islands and have campfires. And I don't know if they let you camp on these islands at night. I think you can. I remember the street being down last time. That might be from Irma. It had leaves on it. So. it. Wasn't dead all summer. Last time I was here, I walked to the rocks over there on the other side of that tree. That's apparently where the ducks and geese hang out. There's a lot of poop over there. I think I filmed that too. Maybe I'll add some of that in right now. It's stinky. Oh, you know, there's all the goose poop over here. That's why it's so stinky. Goose hang out. Oh, big old pile of poop there. Fat friend. <laughs> well, you didn't have to agree to that. <laughs> but to make sure he doesn't drown. <laughs> drown while walking on rocks. That, that's a special kind of stupid right there. <laughs> well, I did have to get back in the water. Well, yeah, so the water where where's his keys so I can get on? <laughs> Still going. I think she said she was going to do two big triangles between the island and the beach over there where we started. I'm basically just here to make sure she doesn't go missing. Enjoy 
coming out here too, so why not spend the morning doing that? She has that pink child's float tethered to her waist so boats can see her. I don't know if that thing would keep her afloat. She's kind of small, so it might. I don't know if she's ever tried to float with it. Because the actual Buford Dam is just right over there. Around, uh, around to the right of that section of the park. That is West End Park. That's where we started. May not have mentioned that in the beginning. We actually found this on Google Maps because she wanted an island to swim out to and around and back. That was the same distance as the triathlon she was training for. She gets out of the beach and says she's done. Way over here. But I have the car keys. I guess it would be beneficial if we both had a car key. The person could at least get the phones and call 911. Things you don't think about till after you swam to an island. Yeah, she has a fancy wetsuit for doing this, and I have this snorkeling outfit, which was the only like, full body swimming attire I had that I thought might be warm. It's not bad out here, so keeping the wind from hitting me, retaining a little bit of warmth. So, if I stand here and wait for her to take the second lap, start going back, just in case she's done. All right, so I climbed up under these rocks to try and spot her, and I think I finally see her. Right there, I see some little splashes right there that don't look like waves. I think that's her. I don't know if she swam into that little inlet and just came out. And there she is. So let's swim out and meet her. You really realize how far I've walked away from my stuff. Although the water feels cold again. <laughs> Ooh, okay, it's cold again. I should have had her pull a little flag along with her. <laughs> There's a sailboat. That's really cool. A little jet ski. It's close by. Hopefully they see me. Hi. Let me run over my jet ski today. Hopefully they see her pink buoy thing. All right, so made it back to the shore to find she was there waiting. Apparently she did not intend to do two laps. She was only gonna do one lap around the little area and the island. And she was on the shore waiting for me because she had a doctor appointment to get to. So we're possibly gonna be a little late for that. So a little bit of confusion. I thought she was gonna do two laps. It was only one and frantically looking for me in the water, wondering if I had drowned. So yeah, I just rolled over and took a wave to the mouth as I was breathing in. That was cool. 